Hey YouTube, I'm Histocraft, and welcome to episode 7 of my Roman City Let's Build. Today, I'm adding an amphitheater and a triumphal arch to the city. Before we get into it, I want to say thank you for all the support in the comments, and welcome to all my new subscribers. I hope you guys keep enjoying the content. Now you've just seen a quick time lapse of me building the amphitheater, and here I'm building a triumphal arch. Triumphal arches were monuments built by the Romans to commemorate victorious generals or significant public events such as the founding of a city. The arch I am building was inspired by the Arch of Titus, built in Rome circa 81 CE to celebrate Vespasian's and Titus's conquest and plundering of Jerusalem. Roman amphitheaters, most notably being the Colosseum in Rome, were large circular venues built to host gladiator games, executions, and venationes. A venatio, which is Latin for a hunt, was a form of entertainment in which gladiators hunted and battled all sorts of exotic animals from throughout the empire. Events ranged anywhere from a simple goat or deer hunt to epic battles with lions and elephants. However, wolves were never used in these events due to their religious significance to Rome. Amphitheaters were usually elliptical in shape, however due to space limitations I've had to make mine a perfect circle. Although it seems this was not unheard of, especially in farther provinces. These arches were a quintessential symbol of Roman power and continued to inspire recreations throughout the Western world most notably the Arc de Triomphe in Paris and the Washington Arch in New York. Surrounding the amphitheater are two plazas with fountains. Featured in these fountains are obelisks. Obelisks were originally Egyptian monuments, but were stolen from the country after its conquest by Caesar Augustus. Now we'll head inside the amphitheater and check out the interior. Now we'll head through this passageway called the Vomitorium. Yes, contrary to popular belief, a Vomitorium is a passageway into the seating area of an amphitheater, and not actually a room where Romans force themselves to vomit during large feasts. The center of the amphitheater is composed of two parts, the cavia, 
which is the seating area, and then the arena down below, where the action takes place. Raised above the other seats is a private viewing area for the governor and other high-ranking officials. Now we'll check out the basement where the prisoners, gladiators, and animals were kept in preparation for combat. Like much of this build, this dungeon is heavily inspired by my visit to the Colosseum. At the Colosseum, you see right down into these cells, as surprisingly, the floor of the arena, under the sand, was merely wood that has long rotted away. I made sure to include that detail here. Here in this front room is an elevator that brings the gladiators and animals up to the arena. This elevator operates using a counterweight system, as you can see on the back wall.
All right, everybody, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Till next time. Peace out.